Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here and welcome to my full review of the Secuter Mate electric scooter. Now I know a lot of you are watching this video because you're doing your research right now and you are considering picking up this scooter. You're probably on Scooter's website, on Amazon, reading the reviews. But let me go ahead and answer that question that you probably clicked on this video. Is this scooter worth picking up? And let me go ahead and let you know right now, this scooter is definitely worth picking up. I have really enjoyed using this scooter. This scooter has become my new favorite scooter out of all the scooters that I currently own. Now let's go ahead and talk about price real quick because this scooter retails from $699 to $899. And most of the time you're going to be able to get this scooter for $699, which is a steal of a deal with all the features you're getting. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is the handlebars. I feel like the handlebars are a crucial, it's an important part of the scooter you're going to purchase. With this scooter here, you get really nice long handlebars, good grips, you get dual brakes to the right and left hand side. You get a thumb throttle as you can see right there. And there's room where you can add some additional accessories. You are getting a nice display, a pretty big display compared to some other scooters on the market. Now you got your control panel on the handlebars here. Long pressing is going to turn on this really nice big display. Now, as you can see, you get a lot of information here with your miles, the temperature, the maximum miles you were able to achieve on your ride, as well as the battery percentage. I'm pressing the top button will activate the front LED light. And the LED light seems to be pretty bright. I did take this out on a couple night rides and it seemed to light up the road perfectly fine. It'll also activate your brake light, as well as the lights to the right and left hand side of the scooter. Just pressing it again will turn it off and then you also get a nice horn uh, baked into the scooter here so i definitely like the horn i like it a lot better than a bell and you can kind of hear how it sounds and then the next button you have there is the one that's going to toggle through the different riding modes so you got a turbo mode which is going to go up to that 28 miles per hour you got eco mode which goes about nine miles per hour standard mode is going to go about 18 miles per hour so basically that's the button you're going to use to toggle through the different modes that you have now the next button is going to go ahead and toggle through your temperature from fahrenheit to celsius also from miles per hour to kilometers hour uh, but that's going to be the button there to with the M. Underneath the controller is going to be the button for your turn signals. So if you go ahead and turn the turn signals either to the right or left, it will go ahead and activate. You'll see a little indicator right there on your display. When you want to turn them off, go ahead and just press that button to the center and that will turn off the turn signal so they don't turn off on their own. I really like this feature. I've been using it a lot on my rides and they're plenty of visible even in the daytime. As you can see the lights and you got the turn signals to the right and left side and you also have lights to the right and left side underneath the deck there, which will light up and when you press the brakes they light up like a really bright blue color so a lot of visibility when it comes to the lights on this scooter which is something i really enjoy now another thing that i really enjoy about these handlebars is the fact that they are foldable so you got these arrows and you just pull them off to the side and the handlebars fold down and that just adds some extra portability when you need to store your scooter or put it in the trunk of your car. Now let's go ahead and move on and talk about the folding mechanism here. Really good folding mechanism, haven't had any issues. You got this pin to the side that you pull out and then you pull down the red folding mechanism. There is a lever to the side and then it will go ahead and fold down your scooter and then the stem will just lock into place and you're good to go at that point. Now this might be a little heavy for some people. It does come in at a weight of 48.5 pounds. So I wouldn't carry this around for a long period of time, but you know, it folds up really good, good folding mechanism. And if you need to carry it around for some short distance, there really shouldn't be any issues there. Now I also want to mention that at the same time, this is not a small little commuter scooter that you would see for like three to $400. This is a fairly large beefy scooter, which I personally like. I like the fact that this scooter is so large because you're getting plenty of foot space and ground clearance. As you can see, you get a nice large grippy deck. I got size 10 and a half shoes and my feet just fit comfortable while riding 
this scooter, I can switch up my position while riding. You get a nice back plate to the back there, right above the fender for foot placement as well. Now, let me go ahead and share with you really quick that there is an app you can download. You can connect via Bluetooth to your scooter here. It'll show you the battery percentage. You get an image of the scooter. It'll show you the single miles and total miles driven. You can also switch up between the three different levels within the application here. So you can go from level one, two, or three. And then you can also lock up the scooter. I like this feature here so you can slide and lock up the scooter within the app. And then when you try to move the scooter while it's locked, the wheels are gonna lock up. It's gonna make a beeping sound. So nobody's gonna be able to just to ride off with your scooter. Uh, the thumb throttle, it's not gonna work either, even when the scooter's on and you have the scooter locked within the app. So a lot of functionality here. You can either enable or disable the cruise control. And as you can see, you can have zero start option available or just press that thumb throttle and take off. Um, you can control the headlight. You can uh, record your writing record. So there's a lot of functionality here. If you get this scooter, download the app. I think you really will enjoy it. Now, when it comes to the motor here, you're going to get a single driven motor, 800 watt brushless motor to the back. Now, this motor, I got to tell you, this scooter did surprise me with how much power it did have when I first turned it on, especially when I went into that turbo mode. So if this is like your first kind of powerful scooter, start off slow, go in eco mode, then go into standard. And then when you are comfortable, go into turbo mode, but you'll definitely feel that torquiness and the power of that 800 watt brushless motor. You're also gonna get 10 inch off-road solid tires, which means you never have to worry about a flat or putting air into these tires. Now this also has suspension, dual suspension to the front and to the back. Now the suspension is decent. If you are a heavier rider, this is gonna be perfect for you because it has a max payload of 440 pounds. So that suspension is definitely gonna work good. If you're on the lighter side, you might feel like the suspension is a little on the stiff side. So just kind of keep that in mind. And when it comes to the battery here, you're gonna get a 48 volt, 12.5 amp regenerative lithium ion battery. On the website, it claims you can get up to 25 miles per charge, which I've gotten pretty close to that. I got about 20, 22 miles per charge, and I'm about a 210 pound rider. So your miles will vary depending on your weight, riding condition. When it comes to the brakes here, you are gonna get dual disc brakes, and these brakes have been working perfectly fine. Sometimes with scooters, I have to adjust the brakes out of the box, but with this scooter here, brakes have been working perfect, able to stop when I need to, no issues. All right, so as you can see the display here, it is flickering. That does not happen in real life. It's just the way my camera is picking up the display. So when you're riding, when you get this scooter, your display is not gonna flicker like mine is. It'll be nice and solid, very easy to read. So just keep that in mind. I just want to share with you because on a lot of scooters you get that stem wobble when you are going at higher speed so i could be on turbo mode and as you can see there's no type of stem wobble whatsoever i feel nice and safe while i am riding this scooter and it's a very enjoyable ride while on the scooter made here now this is the type of scooter where you just want to keep riding you want to keep just going like i said i got this out of the box and i pretty much you know if you saw my unboxing video you saw the short assembly that was necessary i charged up the battery to 100 percent and charging does take about five hours to fully charge and honestly it's just that scooter that you want to just keep riding you want to keep going now you might be able to see it right there where it says my max speed that was 28.7 miles per hour so basically on the downhills i can hit 28.7 even above 28 miles per hour now on the flats when i am in the turbo mode the fastest mode that this scooter is able to go i'm able to reach speeds between 24 to 25 miles per hour on turbo mode again your top speed and the miles you're able to travel is going to vary 
based on your weight and the terrain you're riding on. So you might be able to exceed 24, 25 miles per hour. You might be able to get 28 miles per hour if you're a lighter rider, if you're just riding on flats. Uh, but for me, that's the top speed I'm able to achieve. And again, I am over 200 pounds. But nevertheless, you know, riding 24, 25 miles per hour is fairly fast when you are on a scooter. For me, I'm coming from a 9Bot Max, which was the fastest scooter, and that scooter was only able to go 90 miles per hour. So once you hit 24, 25 miles per hour, you can feel the difference. Now, when it comes to hills with the scooter made, I gotta say it does a good job. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of going up a little bit of an incline here on this street, but I have taken this scooter up some more steeper hills, and on turbo mode, this scooter will get me up pretty much all the hills in my area. It will reduce in speed, so I won't go like 24, 25 miles per hour up every steep hill. It'll reduce in speed, but this scooter will get me up pretty much every hill in my area. So it definitely does a good job for it being a single motor. I know, so you're probably wondering, you know, everything just can't be perfect on this scooter. You know, what could be improved? What can be better? The only thing I'll say is probably two areas. One is the cable management to the front there. Now, Scooter does provide some cable ties, which helps with the cable management. Uh, but it could be a little bit better, but I do like the fact that you are getting this storage bag included with the purchase and that does help with the cable management and it helps kind of hide the cables to the front. And again, it's an added bonus. You are going to get that storage bag with the purchase as well as a screen protector. So keep that in mind. Suspension can be a little stiff. So kind of keep that in mind. Other than that, I think this is just a solid, solid scooter. I think it's well constructed. It has plenty of power. Good braking ability, nice lights, good solid display, a lot of functionality here with this scooter. And I highly recommend it, like I said in the beginning of this review. So yeah, and at the same time with this scooter coming in between $6.99 and $8.99, I just feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck uh, with this scooter here. But if you're interested in this scooter, I'll drop a link in the description below of this video to Amazon as well as Scooter's website. You know, read the reviews, take a look at the website, and I'm telling you, if you get the scooter, I'm pretty certain you're going to be happy with it. It's a really nice upgrade if you're coming from one of those three to $400 electric scooters. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. This is Paul Tech, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.